Okay, we have this chord sequence with the arpeggio. Pretty simple. And, um, basically all I'm trying to show you is that with these ghost channels turned on, let's, here, I'll show you another neat little trick. You can press Control A and hold Control and press down on your arrow key. And that'll put your arpeggio or melody or whatever you're working with down one octave. Now an octave is basically the start of your scale of the C to the next C. You know, when working with music, there actually aren't that many notes because you have the octave, which is multiplied up up or down, so you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. At least I hope I count that, right? <laughs> so you basically have 12 notes to work with, and then all sorts of different octaves. It's pretty intimidating looking at this keyboard initially when you see, holy crap, look at all these notes, but basically, it's just the same thing over and over, just higher or lower. Every time the C starts, you're starting a new octave. And once you become comfortable with that you can do all sorts of things now with this trick I showed you where you press control up or down to move things up or down an octave is really neat because you can do this with just little parts you know you can press control down like you want those notes to be lower but the other ones to be higher and you can go up or down it's just really convenient but um back to what I was doing if I can even remember I'm gonna put this down an octave just so that these are separate from these up here, these notes, so that you can see that when we go into a third instrument, you see the ghost channels that show these here and these up here, which is really nice. I mean, it's just all about optimizing your workflow, making your ideas go from your head into your computer faster, because if you're spending 15 minutes fumbling with a single idea, just trying to get get it into your computer you'll probably lose most of your inspiration for that idea I mean you're just spending so much time tinkering that you lose the idea you know it's my theory on free loops and maybe DAWs in general is that the faster you can get those ideas from your head into your computer the better off you'll be because you won't be spending time you know, trying to figure out the program, you'll be spending time putting your ideas into sound, which is a lot nicer. So basically, I'm gonna show you this. It's these ghost channels, hard to replace, really easy to work with. And for those of you watching, thanks so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. If you could do me a big favor, look for that yellow button on the right and please click it you know please subscribe that would help me out a lot but um thanks for watching i hope this tutorial helps you uh... it's helpful from everybody from beginners to more advanced users i'll be sure to be making more tutorials in the future thanks again for watching peace